Hey guys, it's Brian. We're back in the garage with the Frostbite JL, and today we're going to be upgrading an upgrade that we've already done a couple years ago. This one's causing us a little bit of problems. We're getting some noise from the front end, so we're going to go ahead and replace it with something I hope is better. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, what we're going to be replacing is my track bar and sector shaft brace. I currently have one from Synergy. I've installed a couple on the channel. It's been okay, but I am getting that noise from the front end on the driver's side, kind of right from that brace. I have changed a few things out. I've replaced joints in the control arms. I replaced tie rod ends. I went with the Grim Hardware kit with the shoulder bolts. So I swapped all that out. I did do ball joints and I've also done a hub on that side. None of that has fixed anything. And every time I do go ahead and take that brace off and put it back on, it fixes the noise for about half a day. So I think it is the brace. We're gonna try out this new one. What we got is this new track bar and sector shaft brace from Steer Smarts. This one's pretty cool. It is thicker metal than the Synergy one, and it also doesn't have the supporting bolts like they do on the Synergy one. I think that might be causing some of the noise. When you get some flex in your frame, especially on these JLs, it sounds like it's popping and binding kind of. So I think it might be those bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and swap it out for this one. If you take a look, I've got the old Synergy sector shaft brace here. It does have this bushing in here. This works out pretty good. This is the second one that I got. The first one didn't have these set screws and they actually spun the bearing inside here. So they did go ahead and redesign it, which was nice. I did have a problem with this coming loose when we're out in Moab and you do have to grease that quite a bit. If you go ahead and take a look at the Steer Smart sector shaft brace, it's actually a lifetime bearing. It's sealed, so you don't have to grease this one ever, which is nice. I was greasing that one at least once a month and it was still drying out. So let's go over what you need to go ahead and swap this out. So like I said, I have done a couple of these on the channel before, the Synergy ones. It's gonna be real similar for this one. There was one thing that was different though. So with the Synergy one, it came with this collared nut here for their sector shaft brace. That one took a 42 millimeter socket. This one for the Steer Smarts is actually a little bit smaller. It'd be a 41 millimeter or an inch and five eighths. So I did have to run out and grab one of those so we can get a nice fit on that so we're not stripping that out. So I will put links to that down below so you have that. Another nice thing is the Steer Smarts does come with new bolts for the steering box. The Synergy one, when I first got it, they didn't include that in the kit. They do now, so if you pick one up now, you will get new bolts. They were just a hair too short, and I was wondering if that was maybe some of the noise I was getting. I did go ahead when I put my new steering box in for the Ram Assist, get the longer Synergy ones. That didn't fix the noise, so it wasn't that. So it is cool that these include in, are included in the kit for the Steer Smarts. So you will need a 19 millimeter for those. If you are pulling your factory ones, they're an 18 millimeter, so you'll need both those sockets. And then you also need a 13 millimeter for the little bolts that hold on the sector shaft brace. They just go in right here, so you'll need the 13 millimeter for that. Other than that though, you should be all set. The only real specialty one is gonna be this bigger inch and five eighths or 41 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the Synergy one. We'll get that out of the way and then I'll show you how to install this Steer Smarts one. It's pretty easy. It's the four bolts on the box, a track bar bolt, and then putting on that brace. So let's go ahead, we'll get the Synergy one off and we'll get the Steer Smarts one on and hopefully fix that noise we got. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and loosen up that old Pitman arm nut. That one's gonna be the 42 millimeter one from Synergy. So we're gonna loosen that up while the tires are still on the ground. In order to do that, we gotta go ahead and drop the track bar. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the track bar bolt, drop that down out of the way, and then we can go ahead and loosen up that 42 millimeter. Once that's nice and loose, we'll go ahead and pull the tire on this driver's side so we can go ahead and get at these steering box bolts. Now that we have that track bar dropped down, we have free access up to our 42 millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead and we'll loosen that up and then we can go ahead and pull this tire off. Now that we got that nut loosened up there, we can go ahead and we'll pull our tire to get this brace off. You don't need to pull the tire off, but I am going to just so you guys can see it a little bit better. And then when I did install this the first time, I did have to put a little ratchet strap on the coil spring there to the frame just to bend it back about a half inch so we could get the top right bolt there for you. So let's go ahead and we'll get this Synergy brace off and we'll start putting the Steer Smarts one on. Okay, we went ahead and got the wheel out of the way and I did put that ratchet strap on 
like I said, I just hooked it to the frame there just to bend the coil spring out of the way a little bit. That gives us plenty of access to get up to that bolt in that top right side there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two 18 millimeter bolts on the Synergy brace, and then we'll go ahead and pull the box bolts. All right guys, as you can see that came off pretty easy. If you look at the factory track bar brace, this thing is pretty tiny and flimsy compared to these new braces. Let's go ahead and we'll go over to the table and I'll show you the difference between the two. All right, we got the two on the bench here. If you go ahead and take a look at the Steer Smarts one versus the Synergy one, the Steer Smarts one is quite a bit beefier and it is actual uh, quarter inch. And this the Synergy one's uh, 0.2 of an inch and this is 2.5 so that that's going to be an actual quarter inch for you and then you can see this does have those extra bolt holes for support you can tell that this one's got a little chewed up i'm wondering if that's where some of my noise was coming from this new thicker steer smarts one looks like it's welded pretty nice it doesn't require those bolt holes because it is that thicker material and it should work out pretty good so let's go ahead and we'll get this new guy on there and hopefully that fixes the noise we're getting. Okay, I did go ahead and clean up where the new track bar brace is gonna go. It was pretty dirty under here, so we did wanna clean it up. I did go ahead and inspect all my welds here on the factory track bar bracket. Some of the early Jeeps in 2018 did have problems with these welds being bad. So I definitely wanna check those, make sure I don't have one of those. Mine was built late 2018, so it didn't require that repair and it doesn't look like it's uh, failing at all now. So we're going to go ahead and clean up our sector shaft there. We do have quite a bit of red Loctite still on there from before so we'll clean that up. You'll want to re-Loctite that when you put that on with that red stuff and it does get torqued to 184 foot-pounds and then these bolts are going to be 99 foot-pounds. So let's go ahead we'll clean that up. We can start getting the new nut on there. I'm going to wait till the wheels are back on the ground to torque it all the way down. But we can go ahead and line these guys up and get those torqued, and then we can unhook our spring here. Okay, we went ahead and got that sector shaft all cleaned up, and then where we're going to mount that track bar brace. So I went ahead and threw some blue Loctite on our bolts there. Let's go ahead and we'll line this up. One thing you do have to do, the steering box will have shifted down just from the weight of the steering box there and being unbolted. So you will have to hold that up while you try to line these bolts up does help to have a friend come and help you do that, but you can do it by yourself. Now on some of the models, you do have a wiring harness that pokes into that hole there. You will need to remove that and then go ahead and put it into this hole there that they provide. Also, if you have a Mojave, there is some trimming you have to do on the coil bucket there. Uh, no big deal. You just have to take a little metal off so the bracket fits on. So let's go ahead and get that bracket fitted up. We'll get those torqued down to 99 foot pounds and then we'll go ahead and work on that sector shaft brace. We went ahead and got the new steer smarts bracket up and on the Jeep. I just snugged these down for now. One thing to note, if you do have the steel steering box, you'll use the four short ones. If you have the aluminum box, you'll want to use two short ones and then two long ones up there. So we went ahead and got those all snugged down. One of the nice things about this one that I noticed, I did throw this track bar bolt in here just so everything stayed lined up, but look at this. There's no binding there. When I did my Synergy one, there was all sorts of binding. I did follow their instructions. You do have to torque in a certain pattern, and I still had quite a bit of binding here. I had to go ahead and tap in the track bar bolt. So I think this already should be a better deal. We're gonna go ahead and torque these guys down to 99 foot-pounds. Kinda wanna do it in a star pattern like you would a wheel. All right, so now we're gonna get that Pitman arm nut on. So it does come with a couple different spacers here that you can put in there. And that's for if the holes on this guy don't line up with your holes in your bracket here, you can space it down a little. Mine actually lines up perfect without any of those washers in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put some red Loctite on that 
and we're going to get this guy snugged up. Once it's back on the ground, we're going to go ahead and torque it down to 184 foot-pounds. Then we'll go ahead and put our bearing sector shaft brace on here. All right, we went ahead and got that torque down to 184 foot-pounds. Those look like our plate still lines up with those holes, so that's good. We didn't need any of those spacers they provide. Let's go ahead and put our sector shaft brace on here with those 13 millimeters. Get those torqued down, and then we'll put our snap ring in here and then we'll be all set. Just have to throw the track bar back in and that'll be it. I still like how this is nice and free here with no binding. That should make a big difference as well. All right guys, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our sector shaft brace. This angled side's gonna to go towards the rear of the vehicle and then we'll go ahead and put the bolts in. I did put a little blue Loctite on them. That was an area on my Synergy one where they did come loose. So we'll go ahead and throw those on. Steer Smarts does say to torque those to 25 to 35 foot pounds. So we'll go with uh, 35 and then we'll go ahead and put our snap ring in. Okay, I went ahead and got both those 13 millimeters torqued to 35 foot pounds. I did go ahead and jack the Jeep up a little bit just so it was easier to get that torque wrench up behind here and do that back one. Now that those guys are all torqued, let's go ahead and get that snap ring on. We can put our track bar back in and then we're all done. That track bar bolt's gonna get flipped the other way and we're gonna torque it to 130 foot-pounds. Okay, we went ahead and flipped that track bar bolt so it's facing out towards us now. That's just so we gain clearance in the back here. This bolt is longer, so they suggest doing that so you don't hit the axle here in the front. And that's probably good since I have the truss as well. So we went ahead and torqued that guy down to 130 foot-pounds. We've got those guys on the sector shaft brace torqued and we torqued the bolts up here to 99 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this up. I am gonna come back and check this here in like a week, retorque everything and then paint mark them. That way we can keep an eye on it and make sure nothing's coming loose. All right, that was a pretty easy install. Let's wrap this up. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for my new Steer Smarts track bar and sector shaft brace. I hope it fixes the noise. I'll let you guys know down in the description. I'll take it for a short drive, see if it fixes that but hopefully it does. It does look a little bit beefier, and I do like that it has that enclosed bearing that doesn't need to be greased. All right, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.